I think anytime you play um, a school in close proximity, there's always the emotion factor. I know Byron's really done a great job of uh, building that program. Last year they had a really good year. Uh, lost some kids just like we did. These teams are quick, they're athletic, uh, they're well coached, they play hard, uh, and they play to win. So, so over a course of 31 games, you're going to have your peaks and valleys, ups and downs. But the way to have a great year is, is on nights you play poorly, find a way to win. You know, regardless of who we played this first game, you know, it's going to be excitement, but it's, it's, uh, it gets it going. I'm anxious to see how our guys respond for, uh, and the improvement we made from Saturday. You know, our, our goal is to be ready for conference, but in these non-conference games, um, we're going to roll five guys out there. I'm just, just anxious to see who's, who's going to step up and play well. Guy has kind of been improving um, because he's, he's finally healthy, and at least he's in practice every day as Xavier Dupree. You know, he had five block shots the other night. Looked good yesterday in practice. Uh, I thought Kyle Meyer did some good things in that game. You know, but, you know, that game is, uh, is a little difficult to get overly excited about one way or the other. Every team's going to have an identity, good, bad, or indifferent. And you better understand it. Um, you know, culture was very important for us at every school I've coached at. And I talk about it extensively at every coach, school I've talked to, at, coached at. But... The culture of your program is far more important than your strategy. Um, and as long as we embrace it and accept it and play for each other, uh, this team will be fine.